Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to um, Rock You Ramble Rubbish. It's rubbish this time because we're joined by Rob. Rob is rubbish. Hello, there, Wes. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? That, that Rob. Can you zoom in on that? Oh. Next time you'll have the pleasure of seeing Will in a similar guise. Yes. But and Zin Zan. The slightly bigger. Yeah, the finger. Yeah. For better. Less, less said about that, the better. Um, just a few things, Rob. Um, Rob, I, I read that Ryan Jones is excited about the Welsh tour. Do you believe him? Um, no. No? Excellent. No. Poor guy. Should he be on the Lions tour? I would have I gone with him, I would have, yeah. Instead of? Uh, that's the problem, so Quinlan. Who's not going anyway? Yeah. So Croft has Croft, to go, to be fair. Croft should have gone in the first yeah. place. You've taken him ahead of Powell? Uh, yeah, probably. And Andy Powell said he had a good autumn international and then it's dipped a little in terms of form. Yeah, I think Ryan Jones has got a bit more subtlety about yeah, it. Which I is think unusual for a while. In, in, the, in the right environment, I think he would flourish. What is the right environment? Well, the one Ian McGeechan is going to set. Oh, of course it's something. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking of something completely different. Yes. Um, so there you go. And the England boys, uh, England team for the Barbars. Um, Jordan Turner, quite excited. Turner Hall there, quite excited to see him. Although not alongside Jamie Noon. Mm. Jamie Noon, why do they keep assisting with Jamie? Nice guy, brave guy. Jamie Noon and Andy Good. Dylan Hartley starts like that. Lewis Moody's back. Bring a bit of sanity to the back row. That's not a bad team actually. Although uh, he's, he's playing Ben Foden on the wing. Glad to see that guy get a run at full back. Yeah, I think that's the best position. Are we going to talk about the Welsh team? Oh uh, yes, you, yes. I know, know you yes, haven't got it. Yet. No, you don't what? know what we're playing. No, I don't. And it's Canada. Canada. Anyway, so um, have, have they pick? Have they got a good <laughs> team out? Let's hope it's so. It's a young side. Excellent. Daniel Evans and Jonathan Davis from the Scarlets. And another Evans and Davis. Uh, another Jonathan Davis. Oh, in midfield and Why midfield. is he called Jiffy? Or can you not say that? No. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. I, 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 isn't it something to do with his nose or the size of his nose? I thought he was going to say something else. What <laughs> 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 was to do with his nose? Wasn't that a, a jiffy bird with a, like a toucan years ago? Uh, doesn't that sound far too sensible? I, not I being funny, the Welsh are never going to come up with a nickname no. linked with a bird, are they? It's going to be linked with sex, depravity, something yeah. like that. It's bound to be. And I yeah, hope it I, is. I've got it we'll have to find out. I've obviously got it wrong. Uh, do you want a little uh, bet on the Super 14 final? Do you uh, know who's in the Super 14 final? The blue, uh, the Bulls and the Chiefs. <laughs> the Blue Bulls. <laughs> the blue bulls. <laughs> That's it. Yes. Oh, come on. I'm then. gonna go for the Blue Bulls. So am I. So did you see? Yeah. Because yeah. because did you re read about their journey? Yeah. The Chiefs. They uh, they face a mammoth task trying to become the fifth side to win a Super Bowl. Blah, blah, blah. In an exhausting journey, the first time finalists required a 3:30 a.m. bus ride. Monday from Hamilton to Auckland. 3.30 a.m. That's the only bus going from Hamilton to Auckland, on the only road between Hamilton and Auckland. Um, then flights from Auckland to Sydney, then to Joburg, and finally another coach ship to Pretoria, only to discover the Springboks, who are hosting the British Lions, had taken over their team hotel. That would piss you off, wouldn't it? Yeah, but that, that's typical of South Africa. Oh, mate. It's a ploy, Will. Yes, it it's is, isn't it? That's why, out of order. Why, why can they, can they chart or something, or couldn't they... they Surely is a better... You would think they don't have to get a coach at 3... Th oh, why do they have to play in Sydney? Do they not fly from New Zealand straight to South Africa? <clears throat> they fly from New Zealand straight to anywhere? Or do you always have to go through Sydney? No, I think you probably have to go through yeah. Sydney. It's, uh, let's, not, let's not have a go at the old kippies. Now, um, Gatland... Yes. Your man. Warren Gatland. A great quote from Gatland. I want to keep my mouth shut. I've had a couple of lessons, and I'm hopefully going to be very... Very boring, he said. Warren? What's the point? What, it being boring? Yeah. Mate, boring. it is boring. He then went on to give a 30 minute interview, which I liked, so he didn't keep his mouth shut. But he's obviously, he, he wound the Irish up, didn't he? And he did, yes. And he's Paul obviously. Warren in particular. That's the one. It's Skipper, and he obviously doesn't want to do it again, but I like that. I am hopefully. Oh, mate, I'm hopefully going to be very, very boring. Well, they part of the same Oh, time. for sure you are, Ron. You are very, very boring. Whereas De Villiers has said that the Lions are nowhere near as good as the 74 side. They're not legends. 
um, living legends, whereas his team are. I like that. Yeah, 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 in fairness, I heard him speaking on the radio on the way up, and uh, he said, this is just another game, it's not special, it's another international, we've got professional players, and they will take this like any other game. Although, he said, the Lions only come once every 12 years, and it's a, it's a great opportunity for these players, so... So he talked shy. That's what you're, you're, you're saying. You're saying in quite a nice, yeah. Jonesy type way. He talked yeah, shy. I, I hate criticizing people. You do. You do. You, you like to sit. Any no, you like to sit firmly on the fence. I do. Yeah, you, you like to nestle. <laughs> yeah. It's a nice wide fence. It's always got to go. It slants away from rugby. It's and like I read. Yeah, I know. I know. I, like, I didn't make you feel at home. At home <laughs> with your relations. Nice. All of them. All around the village. Um, Lions Tour Diary, day two. There was nothing on the Lions Tour Diary I saw on day two. So it's going to be a bloody interesting Lions Tour Diary there on, uh, on one of the websites. Mind me, day two in 93, Gavin Hastings arrived for breakfast. Yeah. And no bacon. He ordered a bacon sandwich. You remember that one? Bacon. Oh! And, and the woman said, oh, sorry, mate. Yeah, we've run out of bacon. And he came out with the immortal line, 10 million sheep and you've run out of bacon. Because he's sharp, so I can. I thought that was Charlie Falkland. It's <laughs> 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 been yeah. every tour to use him. Charlie. But with our Gav, he's a bright spark. Um, do you hold out any hope for the Lions? Okay, is it? There's a lot, a lot of other things out on the second day. <laughs> no, it was the first day. It was the first night. The first day and the second night. Yes. The second night beat the first night. It did. And the tour never really got yeah. back on the rails. Unfortunately, we can't. No, this, we can't. What happened. was her name? Patrice. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing how that name yeah. is burnt into your brain. Patrice. Patrice. She, she had a lovely tattoo. Oh. Someone on, on her body. Which I Where didn't was? see. Oh, to really? be fair, I can yeah. swear. Because Bafe and I, Bafe and I fell asleep. We didn't know it was happening the first night, but the second night we decided we had to stay awake to witness it. We put on the one channel on the TV <laughs> in our room, wedged our door open, and woke up in the morning. It was like, oh shit, we missed it again. And we missed it. Genuinely, the first night I was in bed fast asleep. And my roommate, who will remain nameless, <laughs> knocked on my door and said, you've got to come next door and see what's going on. So I quickly got out of bed. Put on a pair of underpants. Pogo stick down the <laughs> corridor. And uh, was there for about three or four hours. Right? <laughs> three early hours in the morning. With uh, Mr. Webb. Yeah, and some of the other, sorry, I won't. Uh, yeah, no, exactly. Some of the other. That was the great line. Let's remember we're not here on holiday. <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this tour will be nothing like that. No, nothing like that. Professional. No. Uh, but do you give them any hope? No. Not in the test series, I don't. At the moment, well, I, I think you've got to wait and see uh, how the first four or five games go, but I think uh, in reality, he always does this. Hey, let's be honest, excuse the French, he's a prick. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing changes. <laughs> no, uh, but I don't. I think they lose def definitely two words. <laughs> but possibly. Possibly the big 3 0. Come and on, you're, you're, you're off down there, though, aren't you? With Bayes Clouth. I am, yes, base proof and uh, living with the Lions, base proof wines. Um, Good 17th, go on the 17th, back on the 7th. 19 lovely days. If any of you miss it. But we'll be getting some of that wine on the site soon. People will be able to win crates of it, drink it, and you too can look like Jones. Keep an eye on the site because I'll be sending some lovely interviews through. See you next week. <laughs>